Assalamualaikum Miss Muna. Can you spend Muna. Can you spend some minutes with us? It's okay. Yes. Gladly. We would like to buzz you with some of our questions. Is that okay? Is, feel free to ask me any question. Uh, firstly, where do you come from? I I was born and raised in the U.S. So I'm from the U.S. What is the reason that make you want to be a teacher like today? And who's your role model? So to be honest, I wanted to be a teacher because I wanted to help people with the knowledge I know. I wanted the people, I and the specifically English teacher, because I wanted to, the people to learn English and help other people. So the circle won't stop with me. Everyone should help others. And also, I like to interact with students in general. So because I want students to ask me questions, maybe because I like to uh, answer questions. I don't know, but yes. And thirdly. Do you think Indonesians and non-English speakers as a whole must learn English and why? I think everyone should learn English because English is today's language and for the future as well. And also, not just Indonesian, all countries or all people should learn English or any other language besides English. Learning more languages give you more opportunities to find jobs and to have a better future. Can you give us some advices or tips and tricks for the students of this school to improve their English proficiency? So, there is so many tips. If I start to talk about all the tips, I will not finish. But I will give you the tips that is you can do it for yourself. First thing, you need to practice. Practice the language with your friends, with your family, and do not hesitate. If you did something wrong or you said something wrong, do not feel shy and ask because if you did something wrong, then you will know what's right. So you will re learn the right. So practice it and do not hesitate. Do not feel shy. No one will judge you. No one has born and know all the languages. We learn it every day. And also, there is a uh, tip. You can always uh, watch something you are interested in in English. And you can practice it such as reading or writing or even listening to songs and singing the song that you are listening to. So there is so many ways that you can uh, study English, but the first, the first and the most important is practicing the language with your friends or anyone. Mm, yeah, I agree with that. Well, that's all we have to ask you about English. Thank you for spending your time with us, Miss Muna. You're Make welcome, thanks. and anytime you can ask me any question. Thank you for spending your time with us. I hope You're you won't mind. I don't mind at all. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.